Hey gamers, today is Friday, November 15th. We've got a tiny bit of Guild Wars 2 news. They released a video on the main Guild Wars 2 YouTube channel called Legendary Spear Preview. Club Jarney Geary. Uh, that's how I'm going to call it. And let's see what we got. Legendary Weapon Preview, Club Jarney. One legendary. Six cosmetic styles. There's like floating spears behind her. I have thoughts on this. I'm waiting for it to finish. Okay. All right. So, uh, remember, this is cosmetic. Because, so, uh, like, this this could be any class using this spear. I don't think those are, like, stocked virtuoso blades or anything like that. Uh, all right. So, six styles. Okay. So, let's see. Clob Jarny Gear. Clob Jarny Eight Gear. Clob Jarny Dar. Clob Jarny Kestja. Is a trident looking thing. Clob Jarney Fraka. I mean, that, that one's got the funniest name. Clob Jarney Hlaire. Alright. So you draw it, at least that one, maybe all of them. Oh, yeah, look, you can see the different styles. There's Fraka, and there's uh, the spear tip one. Okay, so the different versions of it are floating behind you. Yeah, so these aren't, yeah, these are the different variants are all floating behind you. And then I guess when you do certain attacks, you see images of them assisting you with your attack. Yeah. So, there are weapons that have done similar things. Uh, for example, if you are using Ferris, the legendary longbow, uh, anytime you get a critical hit, a beam of light comes down from the sky and hits the enemy, so it looks like they got hit by a satellite strike. Uh, so, these things piercing down, they could be related to the type of attack, uh, or they, like, you know, if you're doing, uh, something with, like, a radial, uh, target, or, you know, something like that, or AoE versus single target, or it could be, like, on critical hit it does something. The, uh, previous Legendary Spear, which just recently got its land version, the Kukaracha's one, uh, that one, whenever you get a critical hit, you see, like, a ethereal shark come out of the ground and bite the target. So, this might be, um, related to criticals. Uh, they've done that a few times before, or it could be related to finishers, such as the Generation 3 Orin legendaries. Uh, when you kill an enemy, it would sometimes do that Orin smite that would come down and strike the foe. I like that effect of when you put the spear away, all the different variants of it kind of float back into it. That's pretty cool. We definitely, or I'll say, I say we in the proverbial sense, uh, in me. I definitely uh, misunderstood because in the other trailer um, that had the uh, spear in the trailer, there was something else that we saw related to that. Uh, let me go to the main Guild Wars 2 channel here. Uh, new raid, new convergence. Uh, I think it was in this one. Okay, let me go here. Where were you? It was earlier than that. Okay, there's the spear. All right, so right here you see lots of people wielding it, and there's uh, you know different version. Of it. Okay, so right there, she's in the lady in the background. You know she's swinging it, and then this person's swinging it, and you can see it's like glowing for a second. And. It looks like way more jazzed up than it did before. Now, so like this right here, 
we thought that it was going to be like a, you know, a version that looked like a giant two-handed axe. Now, thinking that's not the case. I'm thinking what that is. Let me go through back to this. There's gear right there, eight gear. So eight gear is almost like halberd shaped. I think this is eight gear, but just like in the middle of a special attack, it's emitting a very large glow around it. Uh, and this one I said almost looks like a sword blade. I think that one is just the uh, either gear or uh, flare. And it's again, just glowing and enlarged greatly right there. Uh, Ad Mukluk, Radish posted that Klo means claw, Bjarn means bear, Gear means spear, Eight Gear means polearm, Dar means javelin, Kestja means polearm, Fraco means spear. Player is a giant, usually described as having claw like fingers, just as an FYI. Okay, I didn't know Radish spoke spear. Now I know. Um, but yeah, so here's, you know, this is what we saw before. Uh, and so the six variants. I don't know what triggers this very large glow. It could just be in combat. Let's just go back to this video and see if that happens here. Um, all right, so she's going up to this guy. All right, so as soon as she pulled it back to throw it, it got that big glow. So right, right there. So it could just be that whenever you're doing an attack, the uh, the glow is there, and then there's also the uh, you know the ghostly versions following whatever your attack is. And the fact that that guy died right when those spears rained down uh, lend more credence to the possibility that it's a finisher than it happening every time there's a critical hit. Um, but there is there has been history of both of those things, so it could honestly be either one. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty nice. I, I like how they did that. Um, I also like, I, you know, I respect how they, you know, uh, save development time there. So they, they've made this weapon and like 80% of it, you know, from one end of the spear, the bottom part of it, all the way up to, I don't know, I don't know if that's the hilt, you know, whatever, where the, where the blade starts. Uh, all of that is the, basically the same on each of them. However, the end of it, uh, your change is based on your own personal preference. I think that's pretty cool. Now, the question is how... How do you do this? Uh, a couple of possibilities is one, you craft the spear, and then after you craft it, there will be a very cheap uh, recipe. And, no, wait, that can't be it because legendary armory. Once it's in the legendary, no, there has to be a way. Hmm. hmm. Okay, so maybe when you, uh, I, I was considering uh, something, and then I immediately discarded that thought because uh, the legendary armory, it, it can't be a Mystic Forge recipe. So it's prob one possibility. <laughs> is when you acquire the spear, you just get all six skins, and then you could use it how you want. Second possibility is you acquire the spear, then there are variants to get the other five graphics. And the variants are similar to if you work on Gen 3 variants, which are, they're not, they, they have a bit of a cost to them. They're not nearly as expensive as, you know, getting a, uh, a Nether Legendary, but they are costly to get uh, the variants. Like if you want to get the Gen 3 Mordremoth weapon instead of the Gen 3 Aurene weapon. So I, I, I don't think it's going to be Mystic Forging because that would uh, not be possible with the way that the Legendary Armory currently works. Uh, and it, it was because of that that when if you try to make Eternity and you've already bound Twilight or Sunrise to you, you have to use those tokens. And although they have done the token thing before, they've never done it again since, so kind of doubting that they would do that again. My, my money is on either it is going to be you, when you get it, you get all six skins and then you could just use whichever ones you want. Or it's going to be a variant system where you get it and then there'll be five mini quests to unlock the others if you choose to do so. So I'm guess that's my guess. Um, and, it, and it could be the token thing too. I just don't think it's likely because uh, I, I feel like they did that as a patch job to uh, allow us to still make Eternity after binding Twilight or Sunrise after they made the Legendary Armory. It didn't feel like something they really wanted to have there. It was just something to kind of fill a needed role uh, after we did that. Um, but yeah, so I can think of three ways that they could do this. Uh, or they, they might come up with something completely new. I just hit my microphone. They might come up with something completely new. But that is Club Journey, which I encourage you all to call it just like that. But... That, uh, it looks pretty cool, it looks pretty cool. I admit, and I, I said this in my previous video, when I first saw this, I 
was like, yeah, you know, and I was just imagining trying to stab someone with this and like getting all this bits caught on things and it's like, okay, well now, all right, I can't even pull the spear back out now. And it just didn't seem very practical. But uh, I do like that there's like all these different cool cosmetic stuff and the idea of like the other versions of it like flying into help is pretty neat too. It also makes me wonder, for those of you who have not made legendaries much in the game, I, I kind of divide up legendaries into two different types. There's types that have like a story, like Chuka and Champawat is the generation two shortbow and it fires tiger spirits instead of arrows. And to get it, you have to do this whole quest line where you're chasing these two tigers like all over the, the, the many zones in the game. And you're hunting them down, they're terrorizing people, like there's a story involved. Then there's uh, Verderock, Gen 2 Warhorn, which is basically bring me 5,000 Mithril and 5,000 Elderwood. So it's basically go mine a forest and chop down a mountain and that's 90% of it. You know, it like, so th there, there are some that have story and there's some that don't. It would be really cool if they had like a short story quest line involved in this. I don't know that they will. Uh, even the Gen 3 Orin ones, were, you know, didn't have much story. It was basically just get the materials and slap them together. But it would be kind of cool to find like a little bit of lore about the spear, maybe from the Kodan or something like that. But that's just me. That's just a theory. A muck theory. All right. Uh, that's all I got on this one. Uh, if you noticed anything in the video I missed or you have any questions, problems, thoughts, concerns, throw it in the comment section down below. I would love to read it. And I'll fight you there. Mm-mm.